Hey everybody, welcome back. I wanted to show you inside my kindergarten busy binder for this year. I did a post on our preschool binders last year and uh, those went over really well. We still use those. So this is my kindergarten one. I fit everything into one binder this year instead of two like last year. So in the front pocket here, I have a little interview page that I'm gonna be doing with Squeaks on the first day of school. This is free in my printables library. And then I have um, a wipe clean edition book that I found in the tar Target dollar spot. This is just that stuff that you, you, you can use a dry erase marker with it. And this one is just addition. I couldn't find the subtraction one, so I'm on the lookout for that. And then this front pocket here holds the pieces for the other games in the, in the um, folder. So like dice and this goes to my addition subtraction game and some letters and numbers for the phone number activity. But this is my... Uh, teens matching wheel. So we'll be practicing counting and recognizing teens. Here are some fun money activities that I found from a couple different sites. I will link to everything in the blog post I write on this. But in here I have some money puzzles. I love these ones um, because their pictures are just so clear. And then I have some money clip cards. And then I have a money sorting page so she can I can give her a big bowl of coins and she can sort them into the proper squares by value and name and then this is another one that's on my in my free printables library for penmanship practice I have uppercase on one side and lowercase on the other uh, free in my library this is my CBC word builder game these don't spin very well when it's in the book but um, you spin to get your, your beginning consonant, and then you spin this wheel to get the ending vowel and consonant blend. Then you build the word using letters that are in that front pocket there, and then you practice writing the word. So that's the CBC Word Builder. And then I also, when you purchase that one, it comes with a blank one, so you can put in your beginning vowel sounds here and your ending blends there to build your own words. And then this is one of my newer printables. This is a sight word builder. This activity comes with a hundred flashcards that you can print out. It's uh, Fry's first 100, the first 100 most used words in the English language. So you would place the flashcard flash card there and read it. Then you would build it using either the letters that I provide in a printable um, that you can cut out for this activity, or um, you can use magnetic letters or foam letters or whatever you have on hand to build the word and then you practice writing it and at the bottom here there's a bonus activity use your word in a sentence or find it in a book so I keep all of my cards in this little uh, photo organizer thing because there's just too many to put in that front in that front folder here's another one that's free in my um, printables library this is a lemonade math game you write your order here which would be a simple addition problem and then you use counters here. I like the little yellow counting discs um, so that they kind of match the game. And then you write your answer in the order up cup. Squeaks likes this one a lot. Um, here's the roll it, build it, add it game. You take the dice, which are in that front pocket. You roll two numbers. You build them using snap cubes or Legos or blocks, whatever you have on hand. And then you write the equation down here at the bottom and create your answer there. And here's the subtraction version, same idea. Roll your dice, build your numbers here using snap cubes, Legos, and then this is removable. And then you determine which number is greater, which number is lesser. And I also have an, uh, one of these that has the, an equal sign on it in case you roll two of the same number. Then you write out your equation here, greater, or equal, lesser, or equal, and the answer. And my 3D shapes matching game. You match the object to the shape and practice tracing the name of the shape. So all those are on Velcro. And then my telling time clock. You write your hour in minutes. The hour hand is red, just like here. Black hand is, is the minutes. And then they build or move the hands to make the time that you wrote down for them, or they can do their own. Here is one of my science activities. It's my solar system matching game. You put the planets in, in, in the proper order. All of them are Velcro. And then on the back is some fun facts about each planet. Here's one of my newest printables. Uh, this is a moon phase one. 
I wanted to get this one out for the Apollo anniversary, but it just didn't happen. So you put the moon phases in the proper order. They're labeled. And then on the back is a nice description of each phase. And then my first anatomy game, everything is removable. Super cute. And on the back, fun facts about each organ. And here, my phone number activity. This was in our binder for preschool. And uh, I just wanted to work on it with her a little bit more. So I put it in here also. You write out your important numbers here, then have them write them out, practice dialing, and then you can build them down here. And this activity comes with these numbers. Here's the corresponding address activity. You write your address there at the top, and then they practice writing the address into the corresponding parts and then they can practice writing out an envelope to a friend or family member. This one's pretty specific to us because Squeaks is taking guitar lessons, but it's just parts of a guitar. Everything is Velcro so she can become familiar with it and uh, practice that. And then these next ones are specific to us because they go with our math curriculum this year. They are part of the math lessons for a living education. I just cut them out of the back of the book and laminated them onto some colorful uh, paper and and then added them to our busy binder. So these ones are all part of that curriculum. And then I'm, in the back here, I have some uh, supplies that I found at the Target Dollar Spot. I have some uh, time puzzles, money puzzles, some dry erase money cards, uh, and then addition and subtraction dry erase cards, and a rhyming puzzle wheel. And uh, those are fun to have on hand for like um, going to restaurants and stuff like that. They're easy to keep in the, in the diaper bag or in your purse. And this is a nice resource to have with my CBC Word Builder game that was in the front of the book. This is from The Measured Mom. It's her CBC Word Lists. It's free on her blog. So that's nice to have to um, be able to practice a whole bunch of words because you're kind of, sometimes you're playing the game and you can't think of any more words to make up or build or anything. So this is handy. And then last thing in this last pocket is my Usborne Wipe Clean Telling Time book. It's dry erase and um, super handy. So that's our Kindergarten Busy Binder. Be sure to uh, check out my blog post that has all of the links. Well, I'll link to as much as I can anyways.